Hey guys, Sprite here from Kindy Systems, and today we're gonna to talk about our new line of Mako Metal. We are always expanding our product offerings to give you more variety in your business. Our Mako Metal is a great alternative to some of the other metals that we offer. It has a really great finish, it comes in a lot of different sizes, and I'm really excited about some of these new shapes. So let's show you what I brought today. Our street sign comes in two different styles. We have one that is prefabricated with holes for mounting and one that does not have the holes. And both come with a gloss white finish. Our parking sign is also available in two different styles, one with the fabricated holes and one without. Both of these also come in a gloss white coating. We also have two different styles of license plates. Both license plates are a traditional size one of them is a clear gloss coating, and the other one is a gloss white coating. And finally, we have an assortment of smaller items that are available in bulk quantities. We are always looking to expand our line of Mako Metal, so be sure to check conditv.com or check with your account representative to stay up to date on all of our newest product offerings. To do the Mako Metal, you need just the standard accessories that you would use in pressing any other metal. So we have our heat tape, our heat gloves, our protective paper, our transfer, and our substrate. Because I'm doing a bigger image with a lot of ink coverage, the first thing that I wanna do is place my transfer under my open heat press for about 10 to 15 seconds. That's going to get rid of any excess moisture that may be left on the transfer and allow for a better image quality once it's sublimated. I always check my metal to make sure that it doesn't have a peel coat. This piece doesn't, but it's always a great idea to check first before you put it on your image to make sure you don't ruin your substrate or your equipment. Next, you wanna tape your metal to your transfer. After it's lined up and affixed, it's time to bring it to the press. The stacking order in the press is a little bit different than what you're used to. We're gonna start with a piece of protective paper then we're gonna put our metal and our transfer, metal face down, transfer face up. This metal reacts a little better with the heat when it has more of a barrier between the top heat source and the coating. We're gonna to top that off with a piece of protective paper and press. Be sure to check kindy.com for all of our latest instructions. So now that our sign is cooled, it's ready to be hung in your kid's room or in your dining room, above your bar, in your office, really anywhere. These street signs are incredibly popular and they're going to do amazing things for your product line. So be sure to contact your Kindy account representative to find out all about our Mako line of metal. This is Sprite from Kindy Systems. Happy sublimating.